but I, my sense is that I think it's about developing conversations in your workplace and in your family where you are thinking about how you're doing on this stuff more generally and having a I would say like a proactive conversation around that so let's let's have a time where we are checking in around this you know let's you know and again I think it takes a level of emotional honesty and safety to be able to do that in a workplace or sometimes even to do that within a family context it might be that that's the sort of thing we arrange to do with a friend who really understands us but that we're intentional around it and I think that's the kind of thing that can really help that you're we're almost building stuff in before it happens. Um, I think when it's it's gone beyond that point, there are a few things that we um, we can do. And I think it's I think an honest conversation, which is is something like, you know, I'm I'm concerned every you know, the last few times I've seen you, you've just looked really tired. What's going on there? Is there anything that we can do to talk through what's happening? And I think there's that for me, there's a really important thing. Because I think when people are really in that space, particularly if they're giving out a lot to others, of thinking, well, listen, every everything has to continue. Um, you know, it's going to break without me doing it. I think often um, if you're able to say, look, um, again, again, this is entirely subject to the individual, but what I think is helpful in this situation is to be able to say, Listen, would it be useful if we made some time to objectively assess?